Hey y'all, it's Candace here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag. Um, this is going to be for about newborn to four months I would say. My baby is currently two months, almost three months, which is absolutely crazy. Um, and I feel like maybe around four months my bag will probably change a little bit. I might add in some like baby food or something like that. I'll probably be adding in teasing things. So that is why I am titling this from like zero to four months. I don't know. I'm brand new to parenthood, so who's to say this bag might not switch up, might switch up next week. We just don't know. Um, but either way, I hope it's helpful if you are trying to figure out what to put in your diaper bag. I know I watched a, quite a few of it, these videos to figure out what I wanted to carry. And um, I'm one of those people, I like to be kind of minimal about what I carry in it, but at the same time, I also like to be very prepared because I never want to be in a situation where I'm like, oh no, I don't have this, or I don't have this. So um, that's probably, that's like the idea or the direction I'm taking my bag. So this is my diaper bag right here. It is a Key Babies diaper bag. I got it on Amazon. Originally, I wanted to go all cute and all aesthetically pleasing and get like the leather bag and everything or the fake leather bag. And my husband convinced me to not do that and do something sim like simple as in simple like this. And um, don't go all like aesthetically pleasing because those bags, you know, some of them tend to fall apart easily. And I'm so glad that he convinced me to go this route because I love this bag. I like how wide it opens up. The amount of times I have stuffed things in here to help me carry it upstairs because I live on like the top floor of our building and everything. So I'm glad he convinced me. Plus it was fairly cheap. And I say fairly because I know just because it was cheap for me doesn't mean it's cheap for someone else. But I don't think it was any more than $40. I think it might have been $30. I don't know. I'll link it down below. When I bought it, it was on sale. Maybe it's still on sale. Who knows? But I love this bag. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start in the very front pocket right here. I don't think I have anything in this pocket, but I don't ever... Yeah, there's nothing in this pocket. But normally I will stick like my wallet in here or something because I don't always carry a purse with me because I always have the diaper bag on me. Or sometimes I'll put my phone, this is kind of just like my mini purse right here, basically. I really need to get like a crossbody type purse or whatever, so I don't have to worry about that. But as of right here, right now, nothing in here. Now I'm going to go through this next pocket right here. And this is the pocket... Oh, don't start crying. She is spiting her nap. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm trying not to be too quiet because I want her to be used to sounds, but I'm trying to also be kind of quiet because I really need her to nap because I have a doctor's appointment today and I don't want her to be absolutely fussy through the entire thing. Anyway, um, front pocket right here. And this is the part where you put like the bottles and everything. And normally I have at least one bottle on me when I'm going anywhere. So right before we go to my appointment, I'll put a um, bottle in here. Um, I also have this little container right here that you put formula in because I do both formula and breast milk. Um, and then in this little pocket right here, I have an extra passy. And I actually did not know this was in here. I was looking for this earlier. So that's great. And then I have it attached to a little passy holder because I'm bad about, bad about not carrying this with me because whenever she like naps or anything I like to take them off so she you know doesn't choke on it <laughs> um but I'm bad about carrying these and I need to get better because she drops her passy all the time and then you have to wash it and everything so um yeah actually I'm gonna leave that out okay then I have some side pockets right here and that's where I have wipes. So I have two different wipes on me, which might seem kind of crazy, but I'll explain it. So I have the regular little Pampers wipes, and I use this for, you know, normal diaper changes, whatever. And then I have wet wipes right here, and I use this for whenever she, like, poops or whatever, because her poops are kind of like babies, little babies' poops are almost, almost like diarrhea. I know, gross. 
and they're they're just really wet. They're on a liquid diet. It makes sense. So I just kind of use these because sometimes it might go a little bit back and everything. And I just clean her off really good. I've used these for my hands. I've used it to wipe off her passy before. I love water wipes. And honestly, I could just use these and not the other ones. But these are kind of pricey. So I like to use them for special things. <laughs> and um, originally I thought maybe getting water wipes was a little like too bougie, I guess you would say. But I'm so glad I did it because we've already gone through like two packs of these since she's been born and we don't even use them a lot but the fact that we've already gone through two packs tells me that we use them enough and thankfully my mother-in-law got me plenty so I should be set for pretty much the year I think so I love these they've been great all right so now um oh in the back right here I have another little zipper part and this is where a changing pad went but we took it out and we actually have it on a table that's sitting next to us and that's where we do her diaper changes. I have another changing pad that's in my bag that I'll show you. But it does come with a changing pad if you're curious. Alright, so now we're going to open it up. And this is the square top I was talking about. I love how wide it opens. I'm so glad my husband convinced me to get this bag. So inside, we've got several pockets. We got one right here, we got one right here, we've got one right here, and then we got a zipper pocket right here. So I'm gonna go in the zipper pocket. And inside of here, I have some Aquaphor, a little travel one. And I use that like on her cheeks and everything because she gets a lot of like little bumps and everything and it helps with that. You can also use it for a diaper rash. And then I have a tube of Destin and I have a, what is this called? Like a little brush or whatever. And the reason this is in here is because when babies are under six months, you cannot put sunscreen on them. However, a pediatrician told me that you can use Destin or any kind of like diaper cream that has zinc oxide in it and you can use that as like a as a sunscreen until they are old enough to wear it so the other day we went to the beach and this is how I applied it all over her body so and it worked but I didn't have her in the sun too much but it did work and it makes me feel better when we are at the beach and everything to have this on her because I don't want her to get sunburned so there is a little hack and I got it from a pediatrician so it's safe at least according to my pediatrician. Alright, so that's all that's in that pocket. Then I have diapers, and as you can see, I am set on diapers. Um, I mentioned in a video previously how I forgot to check if there were diapers in her bag, and I had to buy diapers because she had pooped. <laughs> so now I'm always making sure I'm stocked. And then in this other back pocket, I have an outfit, and this is actually from when we went to the beach because I had an extra outfit in here. Um, if I wanted to change her out of her little swimsuit or whatever. So that's actually why this is in here. And that's a little cute outfit that came with these little bloomer things. Oh my goodness. Aren't they adorable? Yes, they are. You know they are. <laughs> um, but normally this isn't in here because I have other outfits in the bottom. I just haven't cleaned it out since our beach trip. And then I also have a swim diaper in here. An extra one. And then I have a bow in here because I wanted to put her in a bow if I changed her outfit. And then it's always good to have, like, I like to have some sort of extra bow in here that goes with all her outfits. That way if I ever have to change her outfit, I can just slip this little bow on. Is it extra? Probably, but it's okay. And then to the side pocket right here, I have her hairbrush. And I notice I use her hairbrush and stuff more when we're out and that's why it's in her bag. Sometimes I'll pull it out when I'm at home or whatever but for the most part I tend to use it when we're out because her hair gets a little crazy in the back especially. I have this little container that I keep some formula in um, and then like I said I have this one. So normally I just have this one full or whatever but the other day we were out so I put extra formula in there and um I just like to always be prepared for formula because you never know. I'm still kind of learning like right now we're in a weird transition period and we're slowly working our ounces up. Um, some days she needs extra, some days she doesn't. So I always keep extra on me just in case. 
Um, I got these little containers on Amazon and I purposely got the one that came with this because we're not always out long enough where she needs a couple of bottles or whatever. So it was just easier to carry this one. All right, now for the big pocket. So first I have this little thing in here and this is my stuff. So I keep some pads and tampons in here because I have started my period since I've had her and two times that I've started it, I started when we were out and about and I wasn't expecting it because obviously my body's still getting back in sync and everything. So now I carry stuff on me just in case. And then I also have some nipple cream in here because for obvious reasons, like I said, I do a little bit of both. So that's why I have to have that on me. And then I have a burp cloth and this is the muslin burp cloth. I love this burp cloth. Honestly, I need more. We also have one that have like uh, Pokemon characters on it because we're in Japan and you know, birthplace of Pokemon. Um, but honestly, I prefer this one because it just, so it's so good and then here is my other changing pad right here and I love this changing pad from more out and about because it fits the changing tables perfectly like perfectly and I love that um, the changing tables here for the most part are really clean the Japanese people here are very good at keeping them clean so there are times where I won't always pull it out but sometimes I do pull it out and I love it and it's just this was a good purchase um, I purchased it mainly because I thought it was kind of cute and then I didn't realize my bag came with a changing pad even though it clearly said online that it did and I thought maybe it was a little redundant to have two and then it worked out because like I said we have the one that came with the bag over there and then I take this one out with me and I love that it fits the changing tables perfectly. And then whenever I wipe it down I use my water wipes on it so it works out. And then I have a blanket. I haven't had to use this too often because it's still pretty hot. But there have been a couple of times where I pulled it out. Like if the restaurant's really cold. Or there was one day I pulled it out because I wrapped her in it while we were out. Because she was just upset and I was trying to calm her down. So I've used it a couple of times. Not too much. I also used it one time when I didn't have her burp cloth on me and she'd spit up. And I just wiped her off and then I washed it. So I'm glad that I carry this with me. This is also good if you do nurse um, full, if you're like full on nursing and you're not using formula or whatever. This can also help you cover up if you prefer to cover up or whatever. So these muslin blankets are very, very useful. And then I have some outfits at the bottom right here. So I guess I'll show you the outfits I have. I have this little onesie with hearts on it. This little pink onesie with these fun little designs. And then I have this cute little outfit right here. So there we go. Um, and I just recently switched her outfits out to take away all her newborn outfits because she's almost out of newborn. Actually, this is a newborn outfit, but I think this is like zero to three months and then this is like three months. So I have some options here just in case. Um, it's still pretty hot where I live, so I don't need any, like, winter outfits yet. Um, but eventually I'm sure I'll switch to having, like, some pants in here and some socks and stuff like that. But I don't need all that yet because it's not cool enough. But that is everything that is in my diaper bag. As you can see, it's very simple. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm also not usually really out long enough to where I need a ton of items. So, um... That's why I don't have any, like, teething rings. And then she's not teething yet, although I think she might be kind of teething because she has been drooling and chewing on her hands so much lately. So we might be adding some teething stuff in here soon. But that is everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope maybe it gave you some tips. I will link this bag down below. I love this bag. I did think it had, like, shoulder straps on it, but it doesn't. It just has this little like thing right here to close it but it fits perfectly underneath her stroller her shoulders right here that's why I'm pointing um so I just normally stick it under there or put it on my back if I have stuff underneath her stroller or whatever um but other than that um I love this bag I highly recommend it especially if you're a parent on a budget or you're not wanting anything too crazy 
it seems that we went to just nap on mommy today, which is perfectly fine. I got my video filmed, so it worked out. She napped perfectly through the entire video. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!